what's the best VPN for Windows? Now, of course, this depends on what you want to do with your VPN. If you want to use it for torrenting, if you want to use it for watching Netflix, Hulu, listen to Pandora, or to access the internet in countries such as China. Um, but for me, I tested several VPN providers and for me, um, ExpressVPN was basically the best because the software is so easy to use and they have software not only for Windows, but also if you want to use it on your Android, iPhone, tablet, whatever, or even if you want to install it on your router, that's possible with ExpressVPN without any problems. Yeah, so I tested a few others. First of all, I tested Buffered. And what's kind of annoying is the install was not so easy. And then every time you start it up, you have to enter your username and password, which is kind of annoying. And then it wasn't working so well. They don't have so many countries and locations um, to choose from. And it has problems with my Windows 8. And um, I, I talked with the support and basically they told me they just optimized their software um, for Windows 10 and the 61% of other people, um, other Windows users, which still use older versions, they don't care actually. So um, yeah, it's, it's not the best um, service, I think. Then strong VPN is quite nice. I tested the, in this one just yesterday. If you try to install it on your Windows, then first of all, I got a big safety warning from Windows that this, this software might be not safe, which is not the, well, best sign kind of, but I, I told Windows, okay, like, let's just install this. And then also, w once you start the thing, you have to log in with your credentials and I guess then it checks back with the website and whatever. So if you're in a country which blocks strongvpn.com, um, then you might not be able to use the software. And also you cannot switch it off. I mean, if you click on, you know, if, if you um, try to switch off the software, you have to go to the task manager to actually switch it off. And then, the client is very minimalistic, as you can see. It's, I don't know, there are some fields which I don't really understand. And yes, you can choose many different locations, but it's not um, structured very well. And it's actually on um, my desktop, it looks very, very small. So you really have to almost squint your eyes to read the locations. Then, um, I tried NordVPN, which is makes a very good impression on the website, and I think it's also quite nice. But this map view, which works on in the browser, apparently, is not really working on my desktop, at least with my Windows 8. And as you can see, there's only one location in the United States, apparently. I don't know um, if this is just um, for showing people, but I, well, I wasn't really super happy with the client. And then there is ExpressVPN. We already talked about this. As you can see, this is the client now. Um, let's go to this page. So this is the client. As you can see, it's nice and big. It has big buttons. It's easy to use. Now I'm disconnecting. I can select different locations. So there's the location picker and um, there are some favorites. There are some recommended ones. Um, I can see all locations. As you can see, even in U United Kingdom, there are many several locations and comparing to NordVPN and many other VPNs, look how many locations they have in the US and especially if you want to watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever this might be good and let's try to connect to Montreal and you can see how fast this works in some some of the other VPNs took I don't know one minute to connect 
maybe. So now I'm connected to Montreal. I have this website here which shows the IP. And well, that's a bad example. So there might be a mistake with uh, locations. Let's just disconnect. Select let's select Toronto if we want to do stuff in Canada. Always good to check the IP. But as you see, it's, it's super easy to just go choose a different IP in a different location and now we're in Canada in Toronto. As you can see, so well, I don't know why this didn't work now, but um, they're probably working on it. Um, I, I assume this software is kind of static, so it doesn't change. <clears throat> so sometimes, if they have a problem with one server, um, well, let's go to um, <clears throat> let's go to the Bahamas, shall we? So as you can see, this is super easy. I tested several others and they were all kind of not working so well, slow, the client looked shitty or didn't work or um, had, I had error messages with ExpressVPN. It's, it's just super easy. And I know there are some videos out there. Oh, let's check the IP. I know there are some videos I, out there like that um, compare all the features. See, now we're in the Bahamas, in Nassau. And by the way, <clears throat> I will publish a list of VPNs I think are good, but I mean, my favorite is ExpressVPN, but if it's too expensive, maybe you want a um, strong VPN after all. Even the client is not so nice, but who knows, maybe you don't care. Um, yeah, in my channel, you find all kind of infos how to watch US media streaming and Netflix um, from outside the US or how to unblock websites so just um, check the description below the video if you're watching um, from a mobile device under the video here on the right you will see an arrow down uh, maybe not everyone knows this <clears throat> and then you can just um, see this but yeah, I mean, we can um, compare all kind of features like the transcription and bandwidth and um, they have a 30 day guarantee. But for me, what's really important is software that works easily and fast and it works with Netflix, Hulu and whatever. And I also know it works very great with mobile phones tablets and so on and the good thing is you don't have to log in every time you start the software because um, once you buy your package you get a code and you can enter it into the software and as long as the uh, package is valid you can use ExpressVPN so you don't have to log in every single time you want to start the software okay I hope it helped you let me know what you think which VPN is your favorite see you